Okay, I do believe we are recording. I'm Kelly Renee. This is Sharing Our Shine, and today is February the 10th, 2024. I am doing an unboxing this morning, and it's a specific unboxing. It is my retail therapy unboxing. I visited a few stores locally over the course of the last couple of months, and I acquired just a few, a handful, four diamond paintings that I want to share today. So I'm going to start with the very first one that I acquired. And I acquired this first one from Hobby Lobby. I saw this diamond painting being featured on another channel, and I loved it. So I went online, like I do, and to try to get it. They were sold out online. And I did find out that this was being sold in stores. So I went to my nearest, my usual ho Hobby Lobby. They did not have it. So I had to go out of town because I was like determined to get this because I really wanted it. I really wanted this Christmas globe. I just, I, yeah, I just really wanted it. So I went to another Hobby Lobby and after searching the store and asking for the location of where the diamond paintings were and I finally found it, they had a few and they were on sale like 70% off. So I bought two. Yeah, I left six on the rack for other people, but I bought two of them. And I am looking at this. Um, I bought it in December of 2024. I'm sorry, 2024. Of 2023. <clears throat> and um, I haven't opened it yet. And this is, I think this is the first warranty and insurance card. The first diamond painting I ever bought from Hobby Lobby. Diamond Art Club, yeah, yeah, yeah. Register your product within 30 days of purchase to activate the following benefits. Am I 30 days from purchase? I'm not 30 days from purchase. Boo hoo on me. Okay. Well, know that when you buy a Diamond Art Club from wherever, apparently you've got 30 days from the time you buy it to register it. I didn't do that. So if I'm low on drills, I'm going to have to go to my stash or buy drills. Um, it is what it is. Okay, I'll know for future purchases to open it right away, get it registered, figure out what that's all about. And let me go ahead and... How many colors? 36 colors. How big is this diamond painting? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We'll find out in just a second. Um, is this canvas? Yeah, it is the same. Well... It's a little bit... Yeah, I think it is the same canvas. It's got to be, right? It is Diamond Art Club. Let me see. What is the size of this canvas? It's a 45 by 40. So not quite square. <clears throat> um, in inches, it's an 18 by 16. It is 36 colors. The usual sticker sheet... The step-by-step -step instructions with the discount code. Oh, I love the size of this. And guess what? It is a round. It's a round. I want to ring a bell. It is a round. Look at this painting. Peace on Earth. Oh, you know what? I should turn on my new light. I don't know why I didn't do that. Hang on just one moment. Okay, I had to fiddle with the plug for a minute. Okay, peace on earth. Beautiful colors. This is so giftable. Look at that. Christmas globe. I was lucky to find this. I was really like, I, I thought when my first Hobby Lobby didn't have it in stock, I was like, oh God. I'm not going to be able to get it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's alphanumeric. There are symbols as well. Okay, they're not in any particular order. 36 colors. And it says officially 45.7. So that's closer to 46 than 45. So 46 by 41-ish. Susan Wingett. 
Diamond Art Club. Beautiful. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time with each canvas, but unlike my usual budget hauls, where I don't necessarily open the diamonds, I'm going to take a look at these diamonds a little bit more closely so you can see as well. So I'm going to pause the video just to cut down on the crinkling. Hang on. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about getting these back into the, the uh, bag there. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. Maybe you can find this on the secondhand market. I don't know if it will come back or not. Oh, I love the colors. It's really what drew me. Is that 823? I thought maybe it was 310, but it's 823. One, two, three bags of that. So a lot of blue. Just really gorgeous color palette. I am extremely happy with that. And it's round. So you know, I want to stay in that round lane whenever possible. Give myself a break from the usual squares that I do. I have to do about seven squares in a row. I could use a little bit of a round life. So absolutely gorgeous. I am happy with that. Are there any ABs in this kit? Let me check. Let me sit. Now, our Diamond Art Club, anything with a number less than 150 is an AB. So, one, two, three ABs. There's three ABs in here. Let me go ahead and pause the video and get those out and let's see where they go. Okay, I have found my ABs and I'm ready to tell you where they are on the canvas. As I was kind of going through the uh, drills and just taking a closer look at them as I was looking for the ABs, I kind of wish I had bought more, more than two. I really do. I wish I had bought three of these kits. Anywho, okay, let's start with number one. It is a red AB. Let me try to get the glare off beautiful red and then we have number two which is a kind of a golden oh well they have stickers on both sides but there's that one and this one is kind of a blue I thought it was kind of more teal but under the light it looks like a bright blue so let's see where they go starting with the red the red is going to be in these cherries in kind of the obvious places on this canvas all through here just on the edge here as an accent. And that's where the red's going to be. Obvious. Starting and then going with the um, the gold. That is going to be in the stars. There's right here on the edge of this very large star we have the ABs and all through down here is at number two. So that is going to be really pretty. And then lastly, the blue is going to be again in the obvious places, the snowflakes. Here, 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 here. So it's well, well charted for these ABs. Just the way I like ABs to be used as an accent as opposed to an all over diamond painting. But if that's your gig, so be it. But I like them as accents. And I love the size of this. I love the fact that it's round, and I love the bright colors, the very well charted ABs in my opinion, and the overall color palette. So I am very happy with this. I think it retailed for about $45-ish, and I got it like, it was like a ridiculously good sale, and I think I got two of them for 36 so maybe 18 a piece huge deal huge deal which is why i bought two okay that is peace on earth from diamond art club purchased from hobby lobby i'm going to go ahead and put this one away and go for the next one you know as i was putting this away putting the drills back in and putting the bag in here i realized there were some things stuck at the bottom of the box so we got the logbook sticker that's usually included with all diamond art clubs and we got the old or version one kit toolkit here so you do get a toolkit with it a bunch of baggies which are always appreciated a regular pen a looks like a three or four placer 
the squishy, a clear tray, and a couple of heart wax. You don't get the little container that has the heart wax in it. So this is kind of a, um, is there another, something else in there? Yeah, there's no a cover minder or multiple multi-placers or anything like that. But it is more than enough to get started. Um, with the kit if you don't have um, any of the upgraded tools or anything. But that do does come in the uh, box as well. Okay, let me get the next one on deck. Okay, well the first one that I shared with you was a Diamond Art Club of which I have a lot of Diamond Art Club. A brand I'm very familiar with. These are two very new brands to me. They're not new on the market. I just, this is the only Diamond Dots I own. And it is Muzzle Nuzzle. And this is the, what brand is this? Leisure Arts. I have never had a Leisure Arts kit before. And I bought both of these at the same time at Michael's. So that was my other retail therapy. I was in Michael's looking for something else. And I ran across these two. And I helped myself to them. So let me start with one and get it unboxed for you. Okay, I'm going to start with the Leisure Arts. <laughs> and because I generally don't buy diamond paintings in the retail market, and I've never had a Leisure Art um, kit before, I wasn't sure how to interpret the markings on the box. I found that after the fact. In other words, I kind of bought this one by mistake because it's a partial the picture on the side shows you the drilling area. Anything in white is the background, and it's not diamond painted. That's the notation that it is a partial. The complete canvas, and then you have the dazzle area. So that's the only place where the diamonds will go, and everything else is just painted on. I generally don't buy partials, and I didn't know this was a partial. I just really love the image. So I bought it, and after I discovered it was a partial, I was a little bit disappointed that I needed to pay more attention. I think I paid like $15 for it, so and it was on sale. I got maybe 20% off or something. But after I, after I thought about it, I still really like the image, partial or not. So my disappointment is over with. It's a very nice size canvas. It's only a 12 by 12. I still really like it. It is 27 colors. And it has a very small design area. The umbrella, the people, and the taxi. That's it. And it's still 27 colors. Wow. Oh, this is pretty thick. Pretty thick. Um, let's see here. I see alpha. Yeah, and then a... So it has all of the alpha characters, A through Z, and then a dot for your 3865. Makes perfect sense, 12 by 12. Very manageable size, partial. Okay, let's take a look what's included here. Okay. Okay, your instruction sheet. If you don't know how to diamond paint, there you go. Very clear instruction with pictures, that's nice. Um, am I missing? something in here contents printed fabric the drills a stylus craft tray wax comfort grip um this might have been okay i don't have one so okay i don't need one but if i paid for it i'd like to have it but, okay, it's not here. I don't know if... I, I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so here are the 27 colors. Wow. Lots of uh, oranges and yellows. I see the reds. Decent color palette. Bright. Bright colors. And of course, I got my train game going on with my heat sealed back, which I love. 
my heat seal bags. Love, love, love. We'll take these over baggies any day. But I do kit up, so it's not a problem for me. I sympathize with those that really like the baggies. But this was a $15 kit. It should have had a um, tool kit in it as well for you to get started with. That I either took out, fell out, didn't, never got. I don't know the answer to that, so it is what it is. Not that I need it. But let me show you this canvas again. $15.99. If, you, if you're thinking about getting started with diamond painting and just wanted something to start with that was affordable, Leisure Arts, apparently. $15.99. $15.99. A decent amount of colors. Um, do check your box right away. Make sure you got that toolkit if you don't have anything. And there you go. I still really like it. I will do it. And um, I think I'll keep this one. I won't be gifting it. This one I'll keep. I'm very happy with that. Nice colors. Yeah. $15.99. That's a good deal. Okay, there you go. Leisure Arts. Does this have a name? Yeah, Taxi Goodbye. That's the name of the kit. Taxi Goodbye. Okay. I'm going to pause the video, put this one away, and get the next one. Okay, this is another Michaels acquisition. Diamond Dots. My first ever Diamond Dots. And I am a huge animal lover. And I saw this and I just loved it. Even though it's monochromatic with the browns and the tans and the grays and the blacks and not a lot of bright colors, I'm perfectly okay with that with this image. Diamond Dots. And of course I got it on sale. Um... I'm sorry, I just don't remember the price. But I know that I bought it, and it was on sale. Let me see what's in here. You know, this one, I must have taken the toolkit out. I must have, because there's just no way two in a row are missing toolkits. I had to have taken it out. I haven't seen the canvas. I remember, I opened this to see if it was round or square. Because I remember writing the word round on it. Because nowhere on the box does it tell you what shape the diamonds are. That's right. I opened it just to look at the drills to see what color, um, what shape they were. Because I didn't know. I'm sorry for the crinkling. I guess I should have paused that. And these colors are not going to blow anybody away. It's very monochromatic. But this is a diamond dots round. And I've heard really good things about the qual. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, found it. Okay. Very monochromatic. But for this type of image, I am perfectly okay with this being monochromatic. Normally, I would go for something a lot more colorful. And some of the um, things you'll see coming up from me shortly with some other hauls that I've done you'll see that but this one the image totally speaks to me I love it and I can get some great shading ideas from using a monochromatic kit like this like for brown skin tones let me see how the colors kind of work together oh these are diamond dots but I think you can go online because this would not come with DMC I don't believe but they do have a chart a diamond dot to DMC conversion chart, I believe, online that I'm going to have to kit. So I can um, save these rounds in the right color wave in my spares. That's one thing with diamond dots that I've heard. This is the first one I've owned. So. Ooh, it's tight. Wow. Wow. This is a polyester. This is not doesn't have any flocking to it at all. And I'll look at that toolkit. I do remember taking those drills out just to see what shape they were. But I thought the toolkit was missing. Therefore, I had to have taken it out. Because there's just no way. Oh, I'm not even doing it. This is so tightly wound. Wow, it is stiff. I don't know if I get a sticker sheet or anything with this. 
wow. It's a thick, stiff canvas. Wow, I'm going to have to... That was unexpected. I'm telling you, it really was. Let me see what I got in here. No sticker sheet? Lots of instructions in multiple languages. So that's a good thing, right? But I don't see any sticker sheet of any kind. So it's just all legend. Well, I may have to make a sticker sheet. And I'm going to flatten this one out. Because this was really stiff. I, I guess that's usual. For diamond dots, I really don't know. This is my first. This is my first diamond dot, so I didn't know what to expect. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a closer look at the canvas. I just want to flatten this out. Sorry for the crinkling, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I do want to flatten this out because this one is going to have to go in one of my books for two reasons. One, that's why I bought the books for, to store these paintings in there, and this will go into my Wild Kingdom album that I want to do. And two, I don't want to roll this one back up. I really don't. Okay. Okay, that is better. Not 100%, but it's better. I'm learning, guys. I am not good at flattening. We all need Bewitch Cat for that. She seems to be quite the expert. Okay, there we go. Let's bring this canvas up a little closer. Okay. It is clearly printed, as you can see, the symbols. But this, I always use a light pad anyway. I always use a light pad anyway, but it is very clearly printed. The plastic is not, it's a decent, it's not thin thin, it's not thick. And what do we have here? I have 24 colors, a few alpha characters, but mostly symbols. That's the canvas. And I assume these are the diamond dots numbers. And this is just A1 through A24. I guess they have their own. Let's see. Serial number, grid sign, DD number. Yeah, there we go. I have never had a diamond dots. This is my first. And I believe they are known for the quality of the rounds. So I will be looking forward to doing this one. I just love this image. It's so up close. I'm going to get beautiful eyes. I'm going to get beautiful shading. I really do believe that. And this, what's the size of this one? 16 by 18. So 16 and a half by 18 and a half. 42 by 47 centimeters. The fabric is 50 by 55. Muzzle, nuzzle, cute name. Oh, yes, yeah. so if Diamond Dots is going to be legally licensed and all that. All of these are legally licensed, the four that I'm showing you. But I really like that. It's just to the point. Not a whole lot of... It looks like just a little bit of trees back here. But it's all about the wolves. I really like it. Very happy with that. And I would have bought it on sale. Maybe I paid somewhere between 25 and 30 I'm not sure. But somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay, let me just take a look at here. We've got a gray boat. We've got, it looks like a couple of patties of wax. A simple pen, a grippy, and some baggies. A basic plus two kit. Nothing to write home about. And I am looking forward to seeing... What the hype is all about, Diamond Dots, and the quality of their drills. I'm looking forward to experiencing that. Muscle Nuzzle, so it was labeled. Yeah, this is going to go into my uh, book. Because I'm not going to roll this back up and put it in the box. Like, no. Okay. That is Muzzle Nuzzle by Diamond Dots. I'm very happy with it. Let me go ahead and pause the video and get the last one. 
Okay, this is my last retail therapy purchase. This is from Amazon Star Ore. I've heard a lot of really good feedback about this shop. Quality diamond paintings at a decent price. I think I paid about 22 for this. So it's not, you know, on par with the other, like Timu and some of the other budget sites. But it's premium quality. This should be premium quality at a less than premium price. I think I paid 22 It's a 39 by 52 centimeter. It's a full round. And that is the image. I have been looking for wine and cheese um, paintings on the budget sites. Um, Timu, Diamond Art Gift, Digital art and I haven't found one I found one or two that I got but it really wasn't what I was looking for I was looking for something like this so when I saw this on Amazon yeah I went for it okay here oh what's this oh release papers okay CC in Texas will more, more than likely get these I don't use release papers but it's very nice that they included them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's about ten sheets here. This is the size of them. Included with the diamond painting. That's nice. It's a nice extra. I've got my train game. I should say choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. I love my heat shield bags. Okay, let's take a look at the kit. What are they? Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, hang on. I'm starting to feel a little impressed. Let me see if that's going to last. Okay, let's see. What do we get here? Okay, for a $22 premium quality kit, we'll look at the colors and all that in just a minute, I got a bag of baggies. Let me see how tiny these bags These are nice size baggies, and they have the right in areas. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling impressed and I'm staying there for a minute. Okay. I got a blue wax. Heart blue wax. I got a glittery diamond painting pen with a squishy on it. I am hope I'm under the lens because I'm sitting down folks. Okay. I've got these are blunt. These are blunt. These tweezers are the blunt tips. These are the blunt tips. Okay, are they branded? They're not branded, but I'm okay with that. And to have some blunt tips, yeah, good, nice, nice change. This is a, looks like a four-placer, and it's a thin one. It's a thinny. Yeah, that's useful. And this looks like a six, six-placer, maybe eight. This is also a thin channel. Nice. That's two. Oh, in the straightener. That's three. Okay. Okay. And white boat with a spout. You can get some use out of that. That's a pretty decent basic toolkit. Okay. I'm impressed and I'm staying there for a minute. That's a toolkit that is worthy of the price and its quality. It's beyond the basics. Nice. Impressive. Store or Amazon. Okay. Let's take a look at the canvas. What size canvas? The drill area is 35 by 46. The fabric is 39 by 51. I, I, it's nice they give us two of those. The checklist. Oh. They tell you, okay, DMC, the quantity, and how many packages. Okay, that's nice. Print it right on the canvas. I haven't seen that before. Right on the canvas. That's pretty cool. Okay. And do I have a thumbnail on here? Yes. Wine, bottles, a glass, some grapes, a table. I hope that's cheese or pastry or whatever. This is the type of image I was looking for. When I was when I said wine and cheese, this is what I was looking for. And let's see the drill area. The field here. Is it well printed? 
I do believe it is very well printed. I can see that. I can totally see that. Nice and clear. And there's the overall image. Can you see it better if I turn it this way? It drives me crazy when content creators take it kind of sideways, but I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to put it right back. Here's the table with the cloth. Goodies on the table, bread, cheese, grapes, leaves, glass, bottle, a little bit of muddled color background. I'm very happy with this. How many colors? Let's see. Uh, 24 colors. Drill number. And we've got alphanumeric, upper and lower case. Not in any particular order. There you go. Okay. Train game is in play. I'm in my happy place. And let me go ahead and pause the video and take these out of the wrapper. Hang on. Okay, one thing I was like, oh no, I won't be able to save my drills, no DMC. And then I quickly remembered the checklist gives me my DMC numbers. So I can put these in my spares. They're right there in the checklist, right on the canvas. It's not up here in the legend. And there is only one legend. The le legend for the drills is only printed on one side, not on two sides. Okay, that's fine. Here is the palette. Again, not very, very bright colors, but all appropriate colors for the theme of this diamond painting. Browns, neutrals. Should have some, must those are, no, those look like green grapes. Don't I have green grapes in here? Somewhere? Maybe not bright green. That's going to be interesting. I don't see green, green. Green isn't screaming at me in this palette. Okay, I don't see green. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm just going to drill this exactly as charted. But I do like the color palette. Neutral, mostly neutral. But look at the painting. So is the painting. It doesn't have screaming bright colors. It's more of a muted. I could see this hanging up in a restaurant, near a bar, or in someone's kitchen. Perhaps mine. We'll see. It's a very faint pink there. What number is that? Uh, no, it doesn't tell me the number. It just gives me the letter on the bag. It just says J. I'd have to look on here. J. 812. Well, you have to kind of. Yeah, I'm not going to search that out. I have to figure out the, the tabling and go back and forth. But that's that. Okay, so this is Star Ore, is the brand on Amazon. This is about a $22 canvas. Again, it's a 30. Okay, the, the drill area is 35 by 46. The fabric is. 39 by 51, so near a 40 by 50 size. I got 10 release papers, probably about an A2 size release papers, and a pretty basic plus toolkit with baggies, blunt tweezers, three, uh, two multiplayers, and a straightener, a grippy. That's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal. I would definitely buy from them again. So, let me go ahead and get this bagged up, and we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Okay, I'm returning for a minute on the store ore. When I was putting it away, I noticed the pamphlet that was inside the bag. Again, this is my first, so I didn't notice this. But how to get started. How to get start. How to get start. Okay, somebody needs to learn their tenses. Um, some tips. But I also noticed back here... It's a reprint of the legend. So you only have it printed on one side, but you do have this. And it has the number, it has the symbol, the drill number, the diamonds you need, and the diamonds you get. So you get more than you need. Look at that. 1,263 is what I need, but I got 1,400. 
and 28. That is very nice. I still will have to use the checklist to get the DMC number. Let's see. Oh, no. No, no. These are the drill number. It's a DMC. Okay. No, that's great. That's great. And that was included in the bag that I didn't notice before. Okay, let me put this up. Okay, everything's been put away. So this is Kelly Renee's example of some retail therapy diamond painting style that I've done over the last few months. I just have these four, um, but I'm happy with the four that I have. So I will be shopping some more star or some more diamond dots. Mm, I'll be eyeballing Leisure Arts more carefully so I don't get um, disappointed um, with my purchase. And Diamond Art Club has been living in my collection since I started diamond painting. So I know the quality of this one. But I'm happy. I'm happy with what I've got. Let me know what you think. What has been your experience with buying Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, Amazon paintings? Um, I, I am super impressed with the value right here. $22 for everything that I showed and the quality of that canvas. I will definitely be shopping the Star Ore. I'm going to see if they have their own website in addition to Amazon. So I'm going to be checking that out and seeing what I can find. But let me know what you all think. Thank you again for joining me. The channel continues to grow, and that's all because of you guys sharing, commenting, and it's just beyond my expectations. I, I get a little lost for words when I talk about the channel and the success thus far. So thank you all just so much. So let me know what you think in the comments, and I will be back with yet another video shortly in the next few days or so. I do have another. I'm going to start my Deja View series because I want to get those um, diamond painting storage books populated with my finds. So I want to start those videos sooner as opposed to later. So look out for that. So, and as you guys go forth in your everyday lives, meeting your fellow man, family, friends, whatever it may be, do take a moment to share some of your shine with them and let their shine do its nat take its natural course and be reflective and share some of that shine back on you. And when you're doing so, pra practice some tolerance and respect. It's something we all need and deserve. Until we can get together again, folks, thank you. Thank you so much for everything. And we'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye now.